Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS World where I'm going to try and shoot things with the Saab Vigan, which boasts an interesting array of weapons, mostly air to ground and I'm going to be focusing on air to ground things. I haven't really gotten the hang of using weapons in this game very well, at least except for the training missions. I haven't successfully brought anything down in like the Create Fast mission or anything like that. And I haven't even started with the campaign stuff. Uh, I've got a fair number of planes. Uh, I don't have the A-10. Uh, I, in a way, the Vigan is sort of my A-10, <laughs> as far as my ground attack situation is concerned. Otherwise, uh, F I'm more of an air-to-air -air person, though I'm horrible at it. F-14, F-15C, you know, I've got the Flaming Cliffs stuff, F-5, F-86, um, more Flaming Cliffs stuff, and the UH-1, the Huey. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's basically what I've got for reference. But the Vigan is interesting. So let's go to training. I've done the training missions for uh, weapon deployment in the Vigan before, but just so that you know what's going on, I'm going to do them again and I could use the practice. So first, the M70B rocket pods. Okay, one concern I have is the way they actually set up the plane ahead of time, because if I'm not in the same configuration, it might not work quite right. Today you'll learn how to employ the ARAC 70B rocket pods. You're equipped with a full load of four pods of high explosive warhead rockets. There is a target area south of the OPI. Feel free to engage with the attitude or altitude hold. Maintain an airspeed between 600 and 900 kilometers per hour. First, we'll define the waypoint as a target waypoint. Set the data selector dial to tact. Okay, uh, whoa. Fact. So I, I don't have any track IR right now. Set the input output selector to in. Okay. To the code nine by using the date. Press the B1 button to assign the next. We'll disable the target motion measurement system for the site. This system disable the target motion measurement system. Aiming, so for the purpose of today's training, we'll disable it. Make sure the data selector is set to tact and the input output switch is set to in. Yep. Two, 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 two one. Two. Press LS to enter the code into memory. This will disable, set the data selector switch to out and the data selector dial to AKTP. Oh, out. Set the weapon selector to mode attack. This will select most air to ground. And this to attack pause. And this to attack. Next, we'll confirm the altimeter setting. Since the site uses barometric altitude for calculating the slant range prior to engaging the radar ranging, a correct QFE altitude setting is necessary. The target we're hitting today is at sea level, so the QFE is the same as the QNH, which set the master... Oh, I thought they said uh, 1145, but okay. Can also be used in mode. Fly towards the waypoint. Make sure it's still selected. The M1, yep. On it's got the, the waypoint up here. A and F, the target position should be indicated by the target indicator ring in the heads-up display. Okay, we can see an indicator ring there. That's the circle. I'm not really... there we go. Centered up. And so, uh, there's... This indicator here shows us the distance to the waypoint, which is handy, that's nice. A whole dial for distance to the waypoint is nice. I don't see that in other planes. Uh, they, they give it on the HUD or something, or on some other instrument, but... It's a whole dedicated dial. The Vigan has a data, cart data cartridge thing in the back that uh, you load the data cartridge when starting it up. And that has all the waypoint information on it. Do slow down. Okay, well, I know already that I'm going to need to flick that up. <laughs> otherwise, I can't. I have to set the trigger to unsafe, otherwise it's not going to work. Oh, where did my dot go, though? Set the trigger to unsafe. Yeah, the I did that. The lever on the control stick should be flipped up. Dive towards the target with between 10 and 30 degrees dive angle. And oh, there it is. The sight dot on the target. Press the trigger when the time distance line in the bottom of the heads up display starts flashing. Uh, well, we'll see. Heads up display is sort of placed a little bit low right now. Oh, there it is. There's the line. 
and flashing. After firing, pull up to evade. Set the trigger to safe. Okay, so that's how we fire rocket pods. Set the master mode selector to NAV. Didn't really destroy anything according to that. Just did damage. Um, I sort of wanted to go back at them, but okay. Well done. This concludes the rocket tutorial. I I still want to destroy them. Oh wait, it says destroyed. Something was destroyed. You roll three seven five. Um, okay, but let's say I wanted to continue attacking them mercilessly. Do I still have rockets? Or is it like uh, that That was all of them? It felt like that was all of them. But I'm not sure. Oh, more were destroyed. Uh, they just took a little bit of time to actually get destroyed, huh? Okay, okay. Well, in that case, I'll uh, go to the next type of weapon. Anti-ship missile. Do not press any buttons or switches. Uh, move the thrall to the idle. No, I don't trust you. I actually did that the first time I did this, this training, and I crashed. So I don't trust them with uh, moving the thrust uh, throttle to idle. In today's lesson, you'll learn how to use the RB-4E anti-ship missile. You will approach the target area, detect the ships on your radar, and release the missiles towards a small convoy of three transport ships traveling south along the coast. The ships will be in the vicinity of Waypoint B-1, which is just off the coast of Georgia. Okay. Set the weapon selector dial to attack to select the RB-4 missiles. Okay. Don't have to do the other stuff this time. Selector to E N K E L to set single target mode. Set the master mode selector to A N F. Okay, that one. A N F. Turn on the radar mode to P P I mode by setting it to mode A one. Change the radar range. And that's actually. Twenty to start searching for ships. The radar will display two distance markers at the maximum. Uh, because I couldn't click on that before. I set it to just the number one. The B -1 Whoa. Maintain an altitude between 50 and 450 meters. If you're outside of the release altitude envelope, we have to be really low for this one. On the central indicator. Let's take a look. These are the heavy missiles that were on the front screen. Look at those things. We got a sidewinder tucked in right there. Two sidewinders, of course, one on each side. But very interesting. Very interesting plane. I got it mainly because I don't have it in any other simulator, so... Might as well have it here. Seems like a good idea. We're, we're low enough. Are the lights off? The distance isn't in kilometers anymore. I think uh, it's in a uh, Swedish unit that's uh, much longer. Once we get closer, it'll switch to kilometers. I think the uh, these units are like uh, 10 kilometers each, so we're just set approaching 40 kilometers. I already the set the trigger to unsafe because I forgot about that. This mill is uh, like 10 kilometers each notch. So soon it'll switch to kilometers, I think. It didn't say anything about how fast I should be going. There we go. It's switched to kilometers now. This ship is pretty far out to sea. Very nice rendition of the Vigan. You might have noticed the Swedish inside the cockpit. And on the weapons, apparently. Uh, when the ship radar contacts within the two release envelope markers. Well, where are my little contacts? Are those little blips? Oh, I'm too high. I feel like they're still outside of the release markers, unless I'm misreading the release markers. I think they're the two lines on there. Uh, one is just now getting close to a release marker.
Fuck it too high. Okay, uh, that looks good. The missiles will fly autonomously. Did I launch one? Any target that appears within its search area. You may fly around. Shouldn't I hear a thunk? The missiles. Normally, you would just return to base or take evasive action against any enemy. Yeah, hey, I want to know if I killed. Oh, there it is. Safe. Normally, I would have expected a thunk or something. I want to be sure to kill this ship, so I'll follow it in. I'll, I'll fire one more. I've got two. There, there's the other one. Eight kilometers away. I can sort of see it there. Congratulations. Nope. You dry cargo ship. Poor ship dry ship cargo missile. ship. This concludes today's lesson. I should have uh, launched a missile at one of the others. Oh, I think this one's changed course. Hold on. It automatically found the other. Yeah, it automatically found the other. Those are smart missiles. Very smart missiles. Uh, I I think on the last of the weapons training ones, I'll actually land at the base. We'll just proceed right now. Air to ground missile. Now see, uh, for the first one, for the rocket pods, we had to take pains to select nine, um, set the waypoint, and do all those things, and they're not making us do them this time. Uh, should we? Uh, I mean, is that something that they've automatically done for us? It seems like it's on AKT pause again. So I think that has to be done for every time. Not sure. Guided by the use of a flare on the back of a missile, I remember this. This was hard. This is probably the hardest one. If you need to map buttons, press pause and then escape to do so. There's a small range set up on the island in the lake south of POTI. It should be your first waypoint, B1. Yeah, we've been to that island. The second to left most setting. Okay, this let's get a good look. In air to ground mode. So no, that's Mark. AMF. The HUD will not change in this mode as there is no sighting system for the missile. No sighting system because it uses a flare. Be within 20 kilometers of the target. It is a concrete building on the island and should be marked with red smoke. No, Start a smoke. gentle dive towards the target. Place the flight path vector just above the target. You may want to engage the altitude hold to make steering the aircraft easier. Nah. Set the trigger to unsafe. A little fun in making it easier. Okay, set the trigger to unsafe. When you are within 10 kilometers of the target, you may fire the missile. I am. Missile, steer the flare so it's covering the target. Fire only one missile at a time, as steering two will be extremely difficult. Impossible, actually. Okay, we're within 10 kilometers. Firing. Try okay. Keep the flare on the target and maneuver the air. How does? As as how do I control it again? Corrections minimal. I thought I had it on my main. I I, I don't think it's okay. Hold on. Um, controlling the air to ground missile. Weapons. Okay. I thought I had it. Hmm. Switch input with flight stick. Oh, okay. Oh, I can do that. Uh, well, it's gone now. Um, new one. No, no, uh, uh, no, no, I, that did not work. That did not work. This concludes the RB5A tutorial. Keep practicing until you can hit the target with some degree of consistency. I, I, I don't think I have any more. Okay, let's do this one again. Hmm. Let's see about those controls. Okay. I thought joystick button. Oh, that's on the flight quadrant. Sorry. Okay. Which one was that?
No, no, it was on the joystick. Hmm. Oh, I have to hold it. Ah, uh, okay. All right, all right. If that works. Good afternoon. Okay. That's ten kilometers right there. Hmm. Try to keep the flare on the target and maneuver the air. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. I, 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 I didn't. Uh, no, I, I'm still pressing it. Oh, it let me steer for a little bit, but that did not work. Okay, I need to. Problem is, I don't have enough axes. <laughs> numpad? Do they use numpad? Well, they do, but that's with modifiers. View up slow. Can I just take it from that? Okay. One more time. When you are within 10 Let's see. Target, How about just fire attitude fire. hold? After you fire them. Okay. Try to keep the flare on the target and maneuver the aircraft as little as possible. Try to make any corrections minimal. I can't see the depth to the target though. Oh, no. Uh, oh, shoot. That is not doing what I wanted to do. Ah. Uh, Oh god, it went too far. Where did it even go? After impact, it may go around and make another attack run. This well, I'll do that. A tutorial. Keep practicing until you can hit the target with some degree of consistency. I don't even know where that one went. I don't like this missile. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh god, it went all the way over there. Well, they sure have range. Okay, let's see... Uh, that... Okay. Okay, that was closer. <laughs> that was closer. At least that was in the ballpark, on the island, if you will. All right, we'll we'll, we'll take that for now. I'll move on to a different one. Okay, so M seventy one bombs high drag in CCIP mode. Okay, high drag bombs. Good morning. Today we'll go through how to deliver the M-71 bombs in CCIP mode. This mode is for the high drag bombs only. Only one type of bomb can be carried at a time, so make sure when selecting loadouts that the bombs are all of one type, either low drag or high drag. You're currently carrying 16 M-71 bombs in the high drag configuration. There's a small... 16. They got those pointy noses. It should be your first waypoint, BP-1. You may use the altitude or attitude hold modes of the autopilot for this section while you prepare the weapon systems. First, confirm that the weapon selector is in mode PLAWN. It should be the leftmost position. Leftmost position? Uh... I mean like... No? No, okay, okay, I see it. Set the impact interval of the sight mode dial. The computer can select impact intervals between 10 and 60 meters between each bomb. Confirm that the weapon selector is in meter nav. intervals. The CCIP requires nav with high drag. Set QFE to 1012. Target altitude above sea level is 10 meters. And um, QFE zero, one, is 1012. Two, he Such slight differences of pressure rarely impact accuracy for CCIP bombing. Having a rough approximation of QFE pressure is often adequate. Proceed towards the target area. Well, I got it to one zero one two. Is it gonna accept that? Okay. Seeding to target area. Seems like it doesn't like what I've done here. Or maybe it's just waiting for me to get 
closer to the target. Mach 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 at 100 meters above ground level. Okay. Oh, I think I need the afterburner to just to get to Mach 0.8, looks like. Need to get lower too. Oh, there, there's my point eight. Ah, there's the red things. Oh, I saw the ring just a sec ago. Oh, there we are. It's blinking. That's a good right. Between the two dots. And press the trigger. Set the trigger to safe and evade. Well done. Make sure to practice CCIP bombing with different impact intervals and QFE settings. This concludes the M7. Okay, okay, the thing the things happen. Oh. I don't know. I dropped all the bombs. I don't see any indication that anything actually got destroyed though. I mean I know they're high drag bombs but they can't take that long right? I think I must have released them not at the right time. Uh, looks like it was too early given those splotches. I think those splotches is where they ended up. And that was too early. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, there is the red smoke. Going fast enough. I am well, a little bit high. Let me get lower. Let me delay, delay, delay. Okay. Set the trigger to safe and evade. Well done. Make sure. The Don't say well done until things that got killed. Oh, good, good. Uh, stuff got damaged. Hopefully, those damaged things. Uh, yeah, some of them got more destroyed. That's good. All right, good enough. Let me proceed to the last of these tutorials. And that's the Cluster Munition Dispenser. This also requires a high speed. Unlimited ammunition. Well, you didn't need to do that. They're not talking for some reason. Maximum range of 8 kilometers. Okay, well, we got time. First target is a waypoint M1. Approach a target and try to maintain an airspeed over Mach 0.3. Again, a low level one. Maintain an altitude between 50 and 500 meters in GL. You may want to use altitude or altitude mode while setting up the systems. Okay, well, let's uh, hold attitude. Oh, come on, tell me other stuff. I've got the notes here. Weapon mode attack and all. Well, isn't it already on series? Well, I guess we'll go series. It lets me choose. 
Okay, I don't even see stuff. Okay, well, it. Okay, it guides itself, it said. I didn't even see the target, but it flashed. Well, okay, I, I don't mind trying a different target, because I don't think I got that one right. So, waypoint 2, please. Oh, wait, it actually worked. I didn't even know what I was aiming at, but it's apparently very well guided, so... Very effective, these cluster munitions. Okay, look. It's these flat pods. And they said I got unlimited ammunition, so... No, the uh, minimum range is 8... I mean, maximum range is 8 kilometers, it said. And we are way high. Can't deal with this sort of dive? I don't know. I don't think that was doable. Yeah, took too long to release those. Okay, waypoint three. Waypoint three? Is that a three or...? It is a three. Okay. Okay, that's only ten kilometers away. Go around... And actually we need to maintain speed, so... Hold on a sec. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, it's at that X runway. Well, it's blinking. Maybe it'll be alright. Did we get anything? Oh yeah, well, yep, 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 yep. Jeez, these cluster things. Okay, well I said I wanted to land on the last of these training ones. And that's because I expect to die when I actually take these skills into a proper flight. That airfield there looks fine. Oh, we do have air brakes. In addition to the thrust reversers. I've basically idled the engine and uh, got the air brakes out, but it's not prone to slowing down necessarily. Okay, let's see the gear now. Hopefully that's slow enough. Okay, back in the cockpit. Need to hear the stall beeping. I, I did pull in the air brakes, right? Yeah, good. Okay, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much stalling. Oh god, I've done a bad thing. Oh no! Right, this is a temperamental sort of thing. Yep. Alright, well, let's go into... Uh, one of those create a fast mission things and see what happens.